Hey everybody, today I have, whoa, what was that noise? I did not like it at all. Let me try this a little higher, just a little higher. It works. Hey everybody, today I have another, uh, I guess, tutorial slash unboxing slash all of that good stuff. So I have this month's BoxyCharm. I'm gonna do a makeup look with it. Um, yeah, so fun times at Anna's Vanity. So opening it up, the first thing we have is brushes. I'm gonna be real here. This is the third box they've sent brushes in. And while I need brushes, I hope this is the last time they send brushes because now I have a ton of brushes and it's not exciting anymore. Brushes aren't exciting. They feel great. They feel very, very nice. They are blush brushes, I believe that is what you call them, um, which I do need because I'm playing with blushes and bronzers more these days. But for real, yo, I'm kind of over the brush game. Like, get your shiz together, guys. Like, brushes three weeks in a row. Really? I want some better, better stuff. So, slightly disappointed. The next thing in the box is BaddingtonLashes.com. These look like fancy eyelashes. Ooh, they look really fancy. I think they're like probably, oh, there's 3D silk lashes, whatever that means. This again, not very exciting for me. I don't really know how to wear lashes. I have really long natural lashes naturally. This feels like a lot of extra work. I have not mastered it and I will not be putting these on for this video because I just can't. Like I just, it's, it's, it's too much work. I have nowhere to go. If I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be for some special thing. And I, I love you guys. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Not special enough for me to even try the the horror that is putting these on my eyes. And I know some of you love false lashes. I'm just not in that club. I am not a member. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Next, we got some fast absorbing body cream from Sol de Janeiro and it's Brazilian Bum Bum Cream with powerful guarana extract feels very tiny this is a small container of cream and oh gosh I hate when it has I mean I know this is like the reason they sell it is like oh it's gloopy cream too I'm gonna just take it off the lid because I have a feeling it's gonna be one of those creams where you put like a tiny bit on and that's all you need Ooh, okay it is a nice cream it smells like uh, tanning lotion that's what it smells like uh, this little pot will last me for like five seconds. Like I can maybe lotion up once with this. So while nice, not great because I can use it one time of moisturizing. In fact, I'll probably use it today so that it's done and then I can throw it away and it's not sitting around my apartment taking up space, which is what usually happens with a lot of this stuff. So it's great. It's just real small. Next, we have... An eyeliner pencil in a dark brown. I appreciate this. I need actually normal color eyeliner pencils because most of the colors I have right now are, well, they're crazy colors. <laughs> they're colors that are like fun and fancy and this is actually very practical. So I like that. There's like a bunch of people in swimsuits on this thing, which I don't know. When, when you've got it, pull on it. Oof, I just don't like that like terminology. Like as if our body should be flaunted all the time. I mean, sometimes you feel great and you want to flaunt it, but it's like not the purpose of your body to be sexually attractive to someone else. Like somewhere down the road, people got that confused. Like for real, yo, your body is about living in and enjoying life, which is partially about being sexy, but there's like a lot more to it than that. And that's kind of feels cheap. Um, all this stuff, you know, the, the eyeliner is the cheapest thing in here, which is $5. The eyelashes, $28 for those eyelashes. I should sell, sell those or give those away or something. Okay, there's a couple more things in this box. Uh, the next is this Afra color. They're killing me with these dark lipsticks, too. Uh, I don't wear, this is a very dark color for spring, summer. It's very, like... I guess it's not too dark. It's time to see what it looked like. Just for me, that's like very fall. 
That's not anything I would ever wear in the summer. So while I appreciate it, the likeliness of me wearing this in the next six months, not very high. Not very high at all. Let's hope that this palette is a redeeming factor because otherwise this box is like kind of mad at me. It's been the theme of boxes recently. Meh. Maybe my standards are getting higher, which is probably good because I probably needed to raise my standards. Oh, okay. This palette is ridiculous. Like, it's a lot of colors I love. It's a lot of colors I don't have. I'm teasing you because I'm not showing it to you, but this is the inside of the palette. These colors are awesome. I am definitely going to work with these four down here. I have an amazing eye idea just like popped on my head. I look really good in golden tones, and I think this will work great. And then maybe using this gold or this light color to kind of like pop the corners. I'm going to test them on my hand really quickly here just to see how shimmery these are because it'll help me decide which one I'm going to use. So definitely these are the two shimmery colors as you can see. I'm just holding them up here. And you can see that I'm probably going to use this pinker color, the La Costa, because I just think it's warmer and it's going to look better with the overall makeup. I feel like sometimes these goals come off a little, um, for lack of a better word, whitish on the skin and it tends to feel less warm to me when I make makeup. I don't know if that's the technical term. This color right here I really love because it's like in between an orange and it's very kind of faint on my hand here, but I think it's going to make a really cool eye color. So definitely going to work in these four and then using this Lacoste color as a highlight. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do for my eyes. Oh, I got all my teeth now. So better. Um, so then I'm going to obviously use this lipstick because it came in the box, but I don't love it. What I'm going to do first is I have been wearing a lot of more, because it is summer, less coverage stuff. So I'm going to do just my less coverage routine, which is literally very similar to my full coverage routine, which I do in the fall winter. And it's to start with this tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier. I love this stuff. It's got a little SPF in it, which is the bomb diggity. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my skin. And yeah, I apply it like a Neanderthal with my hands because this feels like something that I don't need a brush for. And I'm sure there's like some makeup artist who's cringing, but I don't care. Plus, sometimes it's good just to get in contact with your skin, which also is something I know that you're not supposed to do, but whatever, I'm doing it anyway. Look at me, hands on my face, rocking it like queen I am. Boop, 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 ba -doo. Okay. So as you can see, just that little tinted moisturizer, because I am so tan, goes a long, long way, and it kind of completely brightens up my skin tone. I am going to take the lip color off because I, it's actually off-putting, and the more I'm wearing it, I don't like it. Like, I really don't like it at all, and I don't want to wear it with this look. So I will probably do something else with the lips, even though this is in the box, because I hate it. I don't hate it. I just hate it for the season. And these colors are so happy and fun and bright and like, ugh. They remind me of Havana. And this just reminds me of like pumpkin pie. I just, I don't want it on my lips. So I'm going to put a little bit of Glossier's, um, I don't know what the hell this stuff is called. Mintbalm.com. I got this in a box somewhere. And I love it. And I will probably mm -mm -mm, rebuy it when it wears out because I just love it. I always put it on before I do my lips and while I'm doing the rest of my makeup to kind of just like give myself some moisture, especially with me being outside all the time right now. My face needs every piece of moisture I can get. Next, I'm going to take my lovely NARS Canela Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to tap under the eyes a little bit. And then I'm also going to go dot here, 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 and here. And here, all the places my skin's a little fiery right now. So a lot of places, all of the places. <laughs> I love how I have like a North Star up here too. So if you ever need to find the baby Jesus, you can just look at my forehead. So there we go. And that's all I'm going to do for my skin. Um, I don't like having a lot on in the summer. I feel like it sweats off and it's gross. And I don't like having swamp face, which is where you have a bunch of stuff on your face. And it like melts down. That's gross. Since I know I'm doing a rosy color, I'm going to use this, or this like reddish color, I'm going to use the Satisfy Blush. It's an orange color, it's from Urban Decay, and I think this will just go really good with the kind of warm colored tones I'm doing. I'm not going to do any contour, I'm so tan right now, there's no point. So I'm just going to go here on the, with my new brush, blush brush, which honestly feels too small for this. I'm just going to brush this on my cheek, give me a nice warm glow. 
you can see how that's kind of shaping in. And I like this because it's um, matte and it also is a nice brown color to it. A lot of blushes are really pinky. I have a peacher skin tone, a peacher, a more peachy skin tone, so it looks better, I think, um, when I'm doing these warm looks. Now I'm gonna get to these eyes. I'm gonna make this quick so you don't have to watch like a million hours of me talking about ish. First and foremost, I always shape my brows because uh, they're like clearish, dudes. Um, let's see, I pulled the magical color out of here. I think it's too dark, so I'm gonna pull another one out. If you can see, I have this like little box. Uh, this is my lovely makeup kit. And here is where I keep my eyebrow stuff. So I'm just reaching over. Look at me using my space effectively. That's like my big achievement this year is like, look, my apartment kind of looks like an adult lives here. I'm growing up. I feel like there's a song I should sing. Like if this were a musical, this would key to a song about me growing up. Like I'm an adult now, I'm growing up. And then there'd be like all these flashback scenes to my childhood where like I wasn't an adult and my apartment was messy and how I like, my, it's like my coming of age story, if this were a musical. It's sadly not a musical, guys. Maybe I should do an entire makeover where it is musical and I sing all the steps. That would be a lot of work, or I could just ad-lib it like I do everything. Um, let me know if you're into that. <laughs> There's someone out there who's like, please, for the love of God, don't do that. And then there'll be someone who's like, oh my gosh, yes. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna start with Coco Taxi, which is this orangish yellow color here. And I'm gonna go just on the lower lid. Actually, I lied. Before I do that, the one thing I do do, it's a little extra step, is I prime my eye. I'm using Cover FX by Cover FX <laughs> Primer, and I'm just gonna put it here. I got this in, I think, last week's box, and I began to, last month's box, I begin to really like it because it is flesh toned and it does add a little bit of a base on the eye too. So I do put it just on the eyes just to hold eye makeup because it is so sweaty and hot and gross. Like you need a little grip to make sure you don't lose whatever work you've done up there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that color and go across the bottom. I'm going all the way from the base of the eye to just above the arch. Yes! So that's step one. Step two is I'm gonna take Tropico, which is the oranger color, oranger color. I swear, I cannot pronounce words today. Orange, orangish color, the darker burnt orange. And I'm gonna go in the crease and a little bit across the bottom lid. So I've gone ahead and done that and you can see Got a nice thick line at the crease. And I'm gonna do a lot of blending on this because I want it to feel like very smoothed into each other. So I don't want it to feel like perfectly crisp. I feel like with bright summery colors, it's more fun to kind of get that like ombre eyeshadow effect. And also because I don't totally know what I'm doing a lot of the times, that helps me like cover up screw ups. So like ombre is great because you can always mix it in. like. Here I'm seeing like, okay, the orange feels a little strong so I can take like some Coco Taxi, which is the more orange color, and just blend it at the top and make it look less strong. Does that make sense? So like now it already looks like it's blending into the brow a little bit better. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, my nose is itching so bad. So already it looks like it's blended into the brow just a little bit better by adding like a little bit more of the lighter yellow on top of the orange. See, ombre hides mistakes. That's why we do it. <laughs> That's why we do it. Okay, Whoa. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of the Guantanamera. Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera. Probably pronounced that wrong. I'm gonna put this in the corners and go to town. Boop, boop. I will say I really enjoy how rich this palette is. Like it is definitely um, very vibrant and the colors are like super pigmented. Which is not the case with most palettes by the way. That's why you get your favorites because some of them are super crappy. And I'm just richening that corner 
Woo! That gave mama a pop and a pop, pop, pop. Now, I do want to add a little bit under the eye. I want to keep it the lighter color just because I feel like um, too much brightness in this look is going to, or like too much dark, it's going to make it look heavy and I don't want this look to look heavy. So I'm taking the lightest color, which is that Coco Taxi, and I'm just going in here under the eye just to like firm the eye 100%. Mmm, mama look good. Mama look good. So that's it. I was going to add a little bit of brown into this, but I'm kind of feeling the way it looks in this like um, kind of, you know, judged way. I am going to go in and take a little bit of Coco Taxi and just lighten up here and lighten up here. Boom. Now the time that everybody loves, which is the Blend Patrol. So you just take this and you blend it all together. And this is just a brush with nothing on it. And all it's doing is just getting those fat, those like colors to work better together. So now it looks like you can't really tell where one color starts or ends. Like you could tell there's other colors, but like where it all goes, it's less specific. The last step is definitely to add in I gotta clean a brush for this. I gotta clean a brush for this. Oh, so many needs. Um, is go into that LA Costa. I'm just gonna dry that brush off. Boop, 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 boop. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, is that last kind of highlight color here at the top. And now we're gonna add just a little bit of extra dimension to it. So we're gonna take it first up under the brow here. Ooh, yes, queen. Do you see the fire that's adding? Now I'm gonna go in and as I go, just correct a little bit. I'm not perfect at this yet, but you can see here we hit that light, we hit that brow, and it's like blam, 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 brow. And again, over here, just really etching out that brow. We begin to kind of see the magic that that has. Additionally, we're going to take this color and we're just right in the corner of the eye here, just to add a little light and color to it. See, I went a little, a little dark on the side. I'm liking the faded look over there. But that is our look. What do you guys think? Now, okay, so we got all the eyeshadow on. The shadows are on. Next, we've got to line it. So we have this amazing brown pencil, which is perfect for this look. So I'm gonna go in and just line it. Okay, I have to complain about this eye pencil a little bit. I have to press down so hard. I have to literally like scrape my eye with the pencil. I don't like this pencil anymore. I now hate it. Okay, so I had to press down super hard with a pencil and it ended up meaning I had to have a super thick line on my eye. So I am gonna try to like lighten the eyeshadow, like not the eyeshadow, the uh, line a little bit by putting some shadow over it because I feel like it's so heavy now and I don't like that heaviness. It just feels like I don't know. No me gusta is what it feels like. So I'm just trying to bring it down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. Now I have to blend again. Oh my gosh, so much work. Okay, now I need to put mascara on. I have been feeling a specific mascara, which is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, uh, it was gifted to me and I've just been using it and I've really been impressed with it. So I think it's a great bargain buy. That's why I'm gonna use it in this look because I feel like we should talk about when bargain brands are awesome and this one is just like, look at that. Look at the difference between the two eyes. Do you see it? It's insanity. Mama's got big old lashes and I feel like it just, it just works perfectly. It looks exactly how I want it to look and it's not expensive, which is, a godsend. Um, I got mascara in my hair. You see that? So, who's the makeup queen now? <laughs> I'm gonna just comb it out. Or actually, I have a handy wipe right here. Look, that never happened. <laughs> what mascara? Oh gosh, it's like spreading. Come on out, little mascara. This is a very... <laughs> the realities of doing your makeup on camera. Okay, we did it. I'm feeling good about this. I feel like it needs a little bit of highlight just to like make it 100% banging. 
So we're gonna take this highlight by Fendi. It's the Mean Money. Actually, no, lies. Since this is an orangey look, we're gonna a little crazy with the highlight. We are gonna use the Kilowatt Foil Mang Mimosa Sunrise, which is like an orangey color, to do my highlight, this orange color. This might be a terrible idea, but we'll give it a go. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, maybe not the best idea, but I'll fix it, don't worry. Now I have to do it on both sides though, because I have to fix it on both sides. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you actually play with makeup and don't have a plan is you just end up having to fix it, which is sometimes fun. Sometimes fixing it is taking all your makeup off. Okay. You know what, I don't hate it. It's just really, really orange. So now I am gonna correct it a little bit. I'm gonna take a different Fendi, uh, Fenty Beauty highlight, which is this lightning dust crystal fire and that's like the lightest color of theirs it's like you can see i use it all the time and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to brush a little bit of that here and see if i can just bring the color up a little bit yeah see that's perfect boom so you still have like little hints of orange but we're just bringing the color up and also giving us like a pop and highlight i'm going to give myself that highlight down the front and right there see See, we rectify it, and I actually kind of like the little bit of orange. It feels like it keeps the warmth of the eyes and carries it down into the face, so I'm not hating it. Uh, it was an extra step, but kind of fun. I like how it turned out. Now we're gonna do lips. Like I said, I hate that color, so that's not going on my lips. Plus, my eyes are really strong, and I feel like a strong lip might be too much, but I do feel like we need something a little bit brighter and fun. So this lovely color that I've used a couple times from Urban Decay, and this is called Broadcast, I think, yes. And it's just like a peachy sheer. So it's gonna add some orange to my lips, but it's not like a full color. Oof, that's perfect. I'm obsessed. It turned out really good, I think. I think this is like a really solid look, considering I was just playing around and had no clue what I was doing. Which is like my favorite part about BoxyCharm. As much as I didn't love everything in the box, I do love the fact that I get sent things every month that make me play and try new things. And I think that that's part of the fun of makeup. If you really enjoy makeup, it might be a thing for you. If not, there's no problem. I'm not sponsored. I pay for this box out of my own money, so it's like not a thing. Um, overall, I love the palette. The palette, I think, was the nicest thing in the box. It is a solid palette. The pigments are really strong, as you can see on my eyes. I did not have to apply a bajillion layers. It only took like a couple, you know, thoughtful dashes of that coloring for it to work and I think it makes a really solid eye look just with the colors that are in there so big fan of this um with that let's just take a look at the final look and yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys had fun getting ready with me that details to BoxyCharm are all down in the description box if you are interested in checking it out if there's anything that you want me to unbox or try out for you leave it down below I'll be reading those comments and looking for suggestions with that I will check you guys later have an amazing rest of your day and peace